Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, I have a few things to talk about as it relates to dancehall artist Beanie Man, who recently revealed that he will be heading into real estate. And of course, you know, it's a big money that Beanie Man also posted a video showing off one of the house them that he is currently working on and thing, people. So we're going to talk about that. Also, we're going to talk about Nicki Minaj, who will be coming to Carnival in Jamaica very soon. And Nicki Minaj also big up selector Footer Hype and Carl Footer Hype are general. So it seems like Nicki Minaj really respect the selector. Understand, and since we're talking about footer hype, footer hype make a post on his IG page, and some people feel like see a Aisha and a Ima shade. You understand, people? So, you don't know me, I'm gonna show you the post. Only can tell me if you don't feel like a Aisha and a Ima talk because some people feel like say, fear a new song, new child, she had to shades off a footer hype because you don't know she said that is like basically she had to tell the boy for lower, you see me, she head out of a toxic relationship, and you don't know Aisha and I did say footer used to do certain things to her. So, I think people. People just overreact, but never show no one go on this. You understand? Also, we're going to talk about Popcorn's sister, Unruly Squid, who is responding to Lisa Hyper over some comments that she made as it relates to the World Boss Vibes Cartel. You see my people? So, I'm going to show you what Popcorn's sister has say. And also, we're going to talk about the man who took out rapper Nipsey Hussle being sentenced yesterday, my people, because you know so the trial was going on and stuff like that. So, him finally get sentenced. Some people feel like say, him actually deserve more years than what he got, but I will if I use him get my people. So, you don't know, I'm going to give you some more information as to how many years he actually got, is it? Also, we're going to talk about dancehall artist Sean Storm, who is telling the Gaza Nation so they can breathe easy. And of course, the reason why I'm saying that is because of the fake news that come out recently saying that their appeal was actually rejected, you understand? So, I'm going to go no more information on that and only can tell more anything, is it? Also, we're going to talk about Bounty Killer dropping one more diss track at Mr. Vegas named Spin Barrel. And you don't know, we see Bounty and make some posts. I say, boy, Mr. Vegas has slow up the war and it might take too long for drop song and this and that I'm mean, not like people that spin barrel song yeah it bad anyway people before I'm gonna further into the topics make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe if you don't subscribe and click the notification bell put it on all that way you can get notified when I post a new video so the first thing we're gonna talk about is select a footer hype and a post where you make on him IG page is it my people and the post where you make some people feel like Aisha and them are shades of her. No, I'm not going to say that's the case because I feel like any kind of post he make, people are going to say that. You understand what I mean? I say Ara, she mature shades of her as if the man not talk to other women. But then again, it could also be she him talk about because she dropped her new song named New Child and basically when she posts that over on fear page, some people are called footer hype name and even what when she did live, we see somebody left a comment to ask her if a footer she sing the song for. Me, I'm sorry, I never screenshot the comment but you don't know she ignored that comment anyways but yeah my people um footer basically him post up that video there you can see him boss has show off him big chain and him big watch and in the caption is where it gets spicy him say any woman lose me now have no sense footer hype music is it my people so that's the reason why some people feel like say Aisha and as me say I'm not call name but of course some people feel like enough for call name in order to get your message out there you understand me I say I remember even in a January you know Zine last month he made that post here saying I have no problem saying she used to be mine but it's your time to suffer now nigga you understand people so even when he made that post there the post have must be about 500 and comments are no i think i like 100 and add comments it have one some people even did a call aisha and name this so so it lead me to believe say anything where the man posts people are gonna feel like aisha and him at all but you understand but i don't know people we know so them not talk to each other and i also don't know if the new song we should drop new child if a footer she had talk about me don't know people she have to come out and say it still is it anyway people let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section so now we're gonna talk about popcorn sister unruly squid seemingly are allegedly responding to Lisa Hyper over some comments that she made in relation to the World Boss Vibes Cartel. You see it, my people. So um, she do this interview. Lisa Hyper do this interview with Shelly and Coran. And of course, they know that Shelly and, and Unruly Squid, them no deal none at all. You understand me, some of people. So let me get into this article right away. So it's a popcorn sister Unruly Squid respond to Lisa Hyper over Vibes Cartel relationship comments. Unruly Squid has responded to Lisa Hyper claiming that she had an affair with Vibes Cartel while he was leading the now disbanded Portmore Empire. In a recent interview on Tea Time with Shelly and Coran, Lisa Hyper, born Felicia Gooden, appeared to give a tell-all on her time with the Gaza Empire. Hyper collaborated with 
Street Cartel on songs like Irreplaceable and Come Over in the heyday of the Gaza Empire, but she was more than an artist and she was linked to Cartel as one of his mistresses. She did not deny the allegation but rather confirm it as she waylaid her former label mate Popcorn and his sister Unruly Squid. And Unruly Squid, remember say Adibash you too. She said and added, member Adi did get a piece of you too. So when you come attack and get bright, my girl, understand yourself. She added, Hyper also later in the interview that she wasn't sure, although she heard the rumors. Unruly Squid also responded to Lisa Hyper for being messy, as it appears Koran has been beefing with Squid over some yet unidentified issues. At certain age, being messy just symbolizes you are miserable, Squid wrote on Instagram. Hyper also claimed that Popcorn and others had mashed up Gaza and she claimed that Popcorn had told lies about Black Rhino and herself leading to the farmer being exiled from the Gaza camp back in 2010. Hyper began to say that Popcorn was not helpful to other artists like herself after he became famous. She added that she does have a lot of love for Popcorn but she believes he doesn't feel the same for her because of the incident in Black Rhino's car back in 2010. So people, Minari read out the full article and you can go check it out on Urban Island. So, that's our unruly squid. I have some people, if you reach a certain age and you're still in the mix-up and the drama and you're just being messy, that means you're just miserable. So, I suppose she's saying that Lisa Hyper is just miserable. <laughs> anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, now we're going to talk about the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj, bigging up selector footer hype and also reveal that she's coming to Jamaica for Carnival 2023. Yes, my people. So, I'm getting at the article so I understand what's going on. Is it? Nicki Minaj heading to Jamaica Carnival 2023 calls footer hype me general. Nicki Minaj says she is heading to Jamaica Carnival 2023 next after creating waves in Trinidad this week. The super freaky girl rapper is also showing footer hype love. Yesterday, the rap veteran stopped by Instagram to give Futa Hype a shout out where she called him a general. Futa quickly responded saying, happy to see you back in full effect queen. I'm reviewing your new song tomorrow, A Trouble, LOL. Nicki Minaj then revealed that Trinidad isn't the only carnival that she is planning to attend, but also has her eyes set on Jamaica. Futa Hype need you to go brazy when you playing it, she said. We next at Trinidad Carnival and I'm going to Jamaica Carnival. Nicki Minaj is showing major love for her bird country Trinidad as she celebrated Carnival Monday in the Twin Island Republic with some of the stalwarts of soca music. The artist says in a new clip that she will be repping her real flag after years of not only repping Jamaica but also enjoying the sounds and mimicking the language of Jamaica, Jamaican people as well as their music. Nicki Minaj embracing of Jamaican culture and people has led to many conflicts with her own countrymen who publicly bash her for not promoting Trinidad more. Although Minaj grew up in the United States and has been influenced by the Jamaican diaspora community, including her ex-boyfriend, Safari Samuels. You see it, my people, so... Big up to Nicki Minaj, the Queen says she'll forward to Jamaica for our carnival and thing, people. So it's definitely a good look, you understand? You don't know she loves um, the Jamaican culture, and just like what they're saying in the article. And this will be her first time in Jamaica, I am sure. I'm sure she says she never come to Jamaica before. Correct me if I'm wrong, my people, but I don't think Nicki Minaj has ever been to Jamaica. So this will be her first time, is it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about dancehall artist Bounty Killer who recently dropped a new diss track aimed at Mr. Vegas named Spin Barrel. You see, my people, and now I go around you, yeah. it sang bad. It shot bad, the rhythm bad, and the flow bad. I like it. You see, my people, and my personal opinion, this are, this are out of all of the songs that my Bounty drop so far, I say the rest of them don't sound good enough, people. That's not what I'm saying. But this are my favorite one. Just because, I don't know, from here at one time, I just like it instantly. You see me? I don't have to listen it again for like the song. So, it, But still, but also we see Mr. Vegas, who is now back in Jamaica, because I believe that he had some show overseas and things. So I think that may be one of the reasons why him not drop more this track at Bounty and thing. But him supposed to in the studio because we see Bounty and say, boy, Vegas are take too long for drop song. And, you know, he might get bored and this and that. Bounty and make a whole heap of post over on him IG page and thing. 
you understand, people? So, more and more when you think about this war, my people, if you don't like it, if you don't enjoy it so far, you don't know, it have a whole heap of things that make you laugh in it based on some posts where Bunty share and also some posts where Mr. Vegas share. You know, it's a footer hype, end up get caught in the crossfire. Mr. Vegas have put up some little things over there as it relates to footer hype. You see, my people? So, as I said, this is just entertainment for me, even though we know so the situation between Vegas and Bunty more serious than, than entertainment mood I say. But at the same time, we don't want it to reach certain levels. You understand me some more people. So we only think about the class so far. We only think I win. Also, we see we are merciless manager, our farmer manager forward out and basically I tell Mr. Vegas, say yo, Bunty is not a walkover artist and thing and thing. He had a lot to say, people. Some of you might already see the video. Cause I think from our earlier this week it come out or last week. But merciless manager say we have to say and you don't know him and Vegas know say Bunty is not a walkover artist. But I think Vegas already know that is it and also mr vegas make a post my people zane and basically my make the people them know say tomorrow my job theme song you understand me i say in him empty the clip and thing and thing is it so in the caption him post that and in the caption him say one day to go the pedo f- <laughs> hey man love carl bunty that the pedo Riri took nine nights so tomorrow we're giving it a nine night Make sure you subscribe to Sobe Live and I guess that time YouTube channel. So over there say my post it my people. So I guess you can look out for this and see if it was worth the wait. You understand me I say? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're gonna talk about dancehall artist Beanie Man, who is now venturing into real estate and also show and also him actually a work pan. You see it, my people. So this is what the story I say. Beanie Man ventures into real estate and shows us a house he's working on. With a successful career spanning over three decades, dancehall veteran Beanie Man appears ready to place another feather in his cap and has entered the increasingly popular business of real estate. On Tuesday, Beanie Man shared a quick look at the multi-story home with a hillside view, one of the multiple houses he currently has under construction. The DJ joins a host of celebrities who has ventured into the lucrative business, such as a American rapper Rick Ross, Jamaican singer and actress Shereen Anderson also leap into the real estate after studying and investing for years and she is a licensed real estate broker and consultant. These are the houses we have fixed up. So when I ask them. While purchasing massive homes has been a long-standing lavish tradition for musicians globally, house flipping instead of ownership has become increasingly popular in recent times. You see it, my people. So that I go on with Beanie Man, you don't know it's a good look and I think this is definitely a wise move to make a good investment and you can't lose half a house and uh, you, know, you can't lose on at all, my people. That's some look on it. You see me? It's a win-win situation. Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about the man who is responsible for taking out rapper Nipsey Hussle being sentenced. He's Roman some people. And yesterday it was actually handed down and he actually got 60 years to life. You see it, my people. So um, them say when you do the crime, you have to do the time, right? So Eric Holder, he's now what? 33 years of age, right, my people? Um, so, of course, him now see back road until he's 90. Yes, my people, 90 years of age. Some people may see a comment. Well, actually, it was one comment may see where them did a say, boy, him should have get the electric chair and thing and thing. But, of course, they know said that wasn't an option in this whole story or in this whole case. You understand, people? So, um, this guy here... You know, it kind of seemed like it was personal, you know, when him go for Nipsey Hustle, because after him can up Nipsey Hustle, you know, people, remember, I must kick him, um, you know, kick him, you know, people, see, remember, you know, you can up the man how much time when you kick him, man. It's like him say something to him, like him say, yeah, man, me get it now, or something like that, and, you know, Nipsey Hustle say, you got me, or something like that, so you see it, so, it seemed like this thing here stemmed from a personal situation, and it wasn't like some random actor, you understand what I say, so, it seemed like them didn't know each other in the past, or whatever it may be, so, yeah, people, him get 60 years, some of us are making know what's going on, you see what I say, I feel like justice was served, or I think him should have get 70. 
I don't know people. Let me know when you think about this in the comment section, you see it? So the next thing we're going to talk about is dancehall artist Sean Storm. Basically sending a message to Gaza Nation and the reason why I'm sending a message to Asma Simo people is because recently some false news come out saying that um, Cartel lose him appeal and all of them things. They understand but that wasn't the case. It's just that, you know, the, the Cartel attorney Isal Bokyanan wanted the Privy Council to look at some new evidence for them have as it relates to the phone being tampered with and stuff like that. You see it? So, Sean Storm goes up, up son, you know, he make a post on him Instagram page saying, Breathe easy, Gaza Nation, everything govern. Hashtag freedom is nigh. You see it? And he put the prayer emoji and thing or the bless emoji. You see it? So, that's how Sean Storm for some more people. You see me? He might tell the Gaza Nation, say, you no need to breathe easy, everything govern. You see it? So, I think Sean Storm is still optimistic that them actually are going to reach a road and you don't know, you have to be optimistic no matter what. You see what I'm people, because now nah, like, I know a whole lot of people did start panic when they hear the news recently, you know, my people. So, you don't know, I just I don't know where the dancehall artist Sean Storm say. You see it? Anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You see it? Bless upon yourself until I drop the next video. I'm out.